So next up, we're going to be taking a look at the post object field. This is a field that's going to allow us to create what we see in front of us. We have a group of three featured articles that are hand selected in the back end of our site. So let's get started. Let's start by going to our WordPress dashboard and adding a new field to our homepage field group. So we're going to hit add field. We're going to name this featured posts. And we're going to get the post object field. We just want to make sure that they are only grabbing articles and we want them to select multiple. We don't want just one featured article. We want a few. So let's hit update and go back to our homepage and hit refresh. Now we'll just have this singular field here that we can use to select our featured posts. So as soon as you click in, you can either search for your articles or you can just select them out of this dropdown. So I'm going to select the first three that I see. And then let's go up and hit save. And once that's saved, we can jump back over to our code. And as you can see here, we just have three columns and each column has the article in it. And so let's start by getting rid of the last two columns. What we're going to do is we want to create a loop and then loop over those cards. But before we do that, I want to show us exactly what's coming out of that field. So if we dump out get field featured posts and go back to our homepage, you can see that it's giving us a array of objects. So we have an array that's three deep and each one of those items in the array is a post object. And kind of like the user field we discussed in the last video, it gives us quite a lot of information. Some of it we'll use and some of it we won't. But the important part here is, is that it's giving us the WordPress object. And that's going to be important when we're going through our loop. So let's jump back over to our code. Let's delete what we have inside of these PHP tags and start our loop. So we're going to do a for each loop and we're going to loop over the information that we just saw in featured posts. And we want to loop over it as post. Now that's actually really important that we uh, name this dollar sign post that the variable is named post because this function right here set up post data requires that the variable passed to it be named post. And the reason why we're calling this setup post data function is it allows us to use functions inside of the in, inside of this for each that would normally only be available inside of the WordPress loop. So it'll become really handy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the link and we can use things like the permalink. And in a traditional loop, this function would error out. It wouldn't give us anything, but because we are looping over some WordPress post objects and we are sending those post objects directly to this setup post data, it'll actually return the permalink as expected, just like the WordPress loop. The next thing here is we want to make sure that we have our featured image. So I'm going to add in the post thumbnail. And we're going to pass it in featured medium, which is a size that comes in foundation press that will work not quite nicely. Let's copy and paste this permalink into the title. And let's actually output the title. The title. Now the description is going to be the excerpt. And we're going to need some of the author data as well. And in the last video, we dealt with authors a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be implementing some of the things that we learned. Uh, the first item that we learned is that we have a couple of advanced custom fields on our author page. And in order to access that, we can actually use get fields just like we normally would. However, we need to specify that we want to use something out of the users table. 
So we have to do user underscore and then the author ID. So we can get the author ID. I think it's capital ID. And that should give us an array of images. We set this image up in the last video. So really we can tap into that saying that we wanna grab one of the specific sizes and we want the thumbnail size. That way it's not too big. The other thing that we can do is we can also grab the author's name and you just do that by doing echo get author name and the same thing here we're going to need to get the author ID. Let's do that and then lastly let's make sure that the articles are actually linked on that card so around the author's name we'll set a link to their page so that's going to be echo get author posts URL and that's going to need the author ID as well all right so the last thing that we need to do is we actually need to close out this for each loop but there's not as simple as just doing an end for each. I mean, that's gonna be part of it, but we also have to do a couple other things. Well, one thing in particular. We need to, first of all, reset the post data. And this is actually a really important step. If we don't do this, this function will interfere with things further down the page. So let's make sure that that's set. And then we end our for each. All right, let's jump back to our homepage and see how we did. So let's jump back and we actually have a little bit of an error here. We've got these brackets in there. Let's go back. Oh yeah, the, the post thumbnail doesn't need to be inside of a source tag. It will actually output the image tag that we need for us. So let's go back and refresh and it looks like we're good. We can click these and it takes us to the appropriate page. And we have our authors that take us to their author page. And so I hope you can kind of start to see how nice the, the post object field is. Now you can use this not only just for displaying posts, but you can use this to associate posts with other posts by adding the same post object on multiple pages you can do quite a bit with it. And in the next video, we'll be going over the gallery field. And that gallery field will, well, it'll do exactly what we think it'll do. It'll help us create a really easy gallery using advanced custom fields. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. I wanted to take a quick second to introduce you to Kinsta. Kinsta is a hosting platform that specializes in WordPress. Everything is geared towards making your site easy to manage and blazing fast. They offer free SSL certificates, a free CDN, and plans starting at just 30 bucks a month. If you're interested in hosting for yourself or for a client, go ahead and click the link in the description. If you end up signing up, you'll be supporting me so I can continue making these videos. Anyway, have a great day and hope to see you in the next video.